Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We're going to talk about the Treasury. We're going to talk about CBDCs, digital currencies. And uh, you know what? I'm going to throw in a little bit of blockchain, what I think is going on in the market right now. But besides that, right now, we're going to talk about something that's completely opposite. Boom! Silver, baby. Um, doing a free silver giveaway. I'm going to put a link in the description and the comment section below. Um, giving away 40 ounces of silver, and some of them will have a uh, in a ninja's cardboard uh, fashion some customized coins with the ninja's face on it and don't before you think that's enamel that is some high quality cardboard stock hmm? all right put a link down below um right here i got a story out of the block it says treasury research argues that cbdc a cbdc would reduce the threat of bank runs now this is on the heel of what's going on in china with the chinese bank runs that are happening protests are happening china's came out and tried to calm that down let's get this out of the news cycle before it gets too big um and say hey we're going to pay back everybody that's owed money from these banks that are you know robbing you essentially and and so uh treasury research thought this would be a great uh uh, time to jump on and go, hey, we see this as a positive for CBDC. So we're going to read this, and I'm going to talk about the, the, the crypto market as well, okay, and let you guys know what I'm doing with my holdings. It says right here, um, uh, a quick take, recent uh, research from the Treasury's Office of Financial Research disputes the threat that a CBDC poses to commercial banks. It says the publication comes amid intensifying political debate over a Fed-issued CBDC. This is, uh, this is a narrative that's being built, guys. It says right here, um, the Treasury's Office of Financial Research published a paper on CBDCs and stability on July 12th. The researchers argue that the adjustments in private financial arrangements in response to a CBDC may trend, may, sorry, may tend to stabilize rather than destabilize the financial system. Yeah, I'm not even gonna read the rest of this crap. All right, I want you to understand this is very clear. This, first off, CBDC, is not a decentralized blockchain. A CBDC is intended to control, all right? And they are gonna do everything they can, take advantage of every news headline that they can to show you, hey, this is gonna be a good thing. And I want you to understand, this isn't a, oh, this could happen. This is happening, all right? I've shown you before. Um, if you go to fednow.gov, I believe it is, um, I've done videos on this. They say that they're putting out the CBDC, our new digital currency, by, I believe, the second quarter of 2023. This is very serious. Now, to understand that, before that happens, there has to be a crisis, right? Because there has to be a solution, and their solution is the CBDC, all right? They're going to be able to turn it on, turn it off, control it, do all kinds of things. They'll be able to directly inject the Federal Reserve money into your pocket, literally taking away the treasuries, uh, the, the U.S. government's treasuries um, control over the currency. Even though we all know there's really none there, it will be concreted with this, all right? I've done tons of videos on that. I didn't want to really get into that, but I want to explain this, how it ties into the blockchain crash right now. Do I believe we're going to see Bitcoin lower? Yes. Have I sold any of my cryptocurrencies? No, I have not. Why? Because the one thing I'm really bad at is trading, okay? If you want to see trading, go talk to Johnny Bravo. He's great at it. Um, but I invest. I'm an investor. I buy real estate. I buy cryptocurrencies. I buy metals. You know, um, when they go up based off of sound fundamentals and, and market cycles, then I sell and I move into a different cycle, okay? Um, so I cannot even pretend to, to, I wouldn't even pretend to tell you that I know, like I have a crystal ball. Now, have I been right before? Yes. Am I wrong before? Yes. Uh, but I will tell you this, the one thing I will not be wrong, uh, wrong on is that they are going to push this digital currency down your throat and they're going to use it through a collapse. Uh, they've got to make it, you beg for it, essentially. And uh, so I believe that we're going to see some epic meltdowns in the markets. We already are, but we're going to see them even worse coming into 2023 because they want this pushed out. They have these agendas. You guys have heard them all over the internet, okay? This is very real, very serious. So what do you do about it? Well, so just you know, they're not gonna get rid of gold and silver. I really do not believe that because so few people own it. And really the only people that own it are the wealthy and smart people. That's it, very, very simply. Uh, they're not going to get rid of Bitcoin, again, for the exact same reason. During these uh, meltdowns, and yes, I do believe that you could see Bitcoin, even, in, you know, it could go under $10,000, right? Because I said the same thing when it was like at 15, 17,000 bucks back in 2017. And we saw it melt all the way down to, I want to say it was 2300. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it was 3200. And you see these cycles as, as asset classes go up. But once again, 
the wealthy people and the banks, the governments of this world, just simply buy it up from the people that are panicking, all right? So do I see Bitcoin going down from here? Yes. Do I see Bitcoin at a million dollars someday? I sure do. Someday, all right? That's the hard thing is putting a time on anything, right? But it's like sitting there and, and you know, buying books online from Amazon and going, you know what, I could see this as a big company someday. It's pretty slick. I don't have to go to a bookstore. I, don't, you know, I can look at, for a book for sale anywhere on, in the world pretty much and, and have it delivered to my house. I think that company's going to go somewhere. You know, where people would just laugh and mock, which they did. Uh, obviously, Amazon turned into something a little bit bigger, right? Because it did it well in books, then it did it well in something else, and then it just kept going. And so... Uh, this CBDC, I want you, I'm going to link the story below. This is something that is uh, going to be coming up more and more in the news because they're going to try and use crisis like the bank runs in China to say, oh, hey, we solved that problem. We're not going to have that problem. And then, uh, you know, something else happened. Oh, hey, we solved that problem. Liquidity injection. Oh, we got it. We could just put liquid liquidity in the markets or into a, a starving bank, a failing bank right now and fix things. And they're going to use these headlines. So after a while, most of the people are programmed to go, oh, CBDC, good. Um, are you going to have a choice? No. Are you going to have the ability to not be dependent on it? Yes. How? With other investments. You're getting out of the dollar. You're getting out of the dollar with precious metals. Um, you're getting out of the dollar by getting out of debt, right? And, and if you get into debt, use debt for good things, you do it inside of a, you know, an entity, something that would protect you legally. That's down the road, all right? We're gonna talk about that as everything melts down. Um, but what has worked for me? Well, getting out of the dollar has worked for me. It's given me a lot of uh, sense of uh, peace and getting out of debt has given me a lot of peace. And, and I want that for you guys. So, um, Again, if you guys want to check out the silver giveaway, um, and if you, if you, if you want a, a customized coin. So I can't even take myself serious sometimes. <laughs> Hold on, let me get some coffee. Shameless plug for the, the channel. I, uh, I appreciate you guys. I think you're so awesome. I, I'm so excited meeting all of you. It is, this has been a wild ride and we are going against the flow. I, I guarantee you we're going against the flow. And as this markets, the markets melt down, we're trying to help as many people as we can. But I'll tell you what, we're going to have an epic, awesome time crushing it in the real estate market and crushing it in the used car market. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun because, you know, being successful is fun. We want to set goals. We want to achieve them. And I believe in every single one of you. I believe in every single one of you. I mean, come on, guys. I, I, I'm a dude with a bro hawk that wears the same clothes just about every video, can't spell, can't read, <laughs> can't write. Uh, but I'm around you, amazing human beings, and I believe in you. That's, and, and I'm telling you, sometimes in this world, all we need is someone to believe in us, and then it gives us the confidence to just go out and crush it, or it keeps us very accountable. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to link the story below. Have a great day. The Academy Ninja is out.